So first thing first, we need to let n equal to one. Um, so that'll be what? Five to the one minus four, which is four, right? Which is technically four by one, right? One of the things I like to do is this, let five to the n minus one be equal to four e. Four e means it's a multiple of four, right? which is divisible by four. So when you put n is one, you could say is of the form 4a. So you're good to go, right? Therefore, it holds. Next step. Next step, when n is equal to k, it will be five to the k minus one is equal to four. Change the letter, right? Change it to, change it to k. So it means it's a multiple, right? That's okay. Next, n is equal to k plus one. It means that five to the k plus one minus one is equal to four c. So we have to prove this. We have to prove that five to the k plus one minus one is equal to four c. So in order to prove it, here's what you do. From here, from here, we can say that five to the k is equal to four b plus one. Y'all see another? Yeah, now what is here? Five to the K plus one minus one. I'm gonna simplify that statement a little bit, right? That will be five by five to the K minus one. Yeah? Right, now I can make a substitution. Now I can substitute five to the K is equal to four B plus one. Five to the K. So you're right in sense, five to the K is equal to four B plus one. We will end up with five by four B plus one minus one, which is 20 B plus five minus one, which is 20 B plus four. All we have to do now is factor out four and you'll get four B plus one, right? I know different people have different ways of doing it. But once you can factor out four, you're good to go. All right? Some people like to substitute for the one. Some people like to substitute for different values, right? But at the end, once you can factor out four, you have it. Are you okay with that? And then you have to write your last line. Since it holds four, n equals to one, n equals to k, n equals to k plus one, then by PMI, it holds for all. Okay? You have to write that line. It does. That line is a mark. Any questions? Israel, you okay with that? Right, we're gonna do a summation. That's the harder one. I think I not seen it. So, go ahead, I'll give it some time. Write it down. Just write your last line. Right, let's run through all these steps here. Right, so it's the same steps for PMI, even if it's summation or divisibility, right? So um, first thing first, 
and is equal to one. Left hand side, left hand side will be eight by one, which is eight. Right hand side, the right hand side, all you have to do is just plug it in the formula, right? Um, so you'll get four by one by one plus one, which is eight as well. So therefore it holds, okay? It holds for the first one. Now we want to assume, assume true for n is equal to k. So the summation of r going from one to k of eight r is equal to four k by k plus one, right? We're going to use this in the proof, right? Then we have to um, show it holds for, show it holds for n is equal to k plus one. So you will have the summation of r going from one to k plus one of eight r is equal to four by k plus one by k plus two. That's okay. Now we are taking the left hand side. The left hand side is the summation of r going from one to k plus one of eight r. Watch here, right? For those, for those who are a little lost still, once you reach here, it's always this. The summation of r going from one to k of eight r plus the k plus one term. That's okay. This here is always this part here. Okay. So that'll be four k by k plus one. How do we get the k plus one term? Take k plus one and put it in here. All right, and you'll be left with eight by k plus one. Now we have to take that and try to prove this. Are you okay with that? What they both have in common? Four and k plus one, right? So they both have four and k plus one in common. And you'll be left with k by two k here. Sorry, by two. That's okay. And you're good to go. Right? That's it, QED. And you have to see it here since, since it holds for n equal to one, n equal to k, n equal to k plus one, then by Proof by mathematical induction, it holds for all uh, natural numbers.